South Kingstown woman's first day in court today charged with disorderly conduct after allegedly yelling at a black man at a local restaurant last summer. 34-year-old Christine Longo didn't say much in court today, but was in tears at one point. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now live in studio with how legislation could change African-American history in schools the same week as the trial. Rob? Mike, legislation has passed in the House to make African American history a requirement for Rhode Island students. It now goes to the Senate for consideration. The same week, a black teenager at East Providence High School was in court defending her family. 34 year old Christine Longo was in tears at the start of her trial, charged with disorderly conduct for what Adote Akpabi describes as a racist rant outside of a Narragansett restaurant last June. I thought I, I, I'm not Black guy, you know, a, a, a black guy, when you're a black guy. He says he was there to eat with his family when Longo started yelling at him. Akpabi's oldest daughter took the stand, saying the experience was humiliating. You black people need to go back to where you came from. And we were all in shock because that never happened to us before. The state added a rare enhancement of a hate crime to the charge. Longo did not speak in court Wednesday, but her lawyer says this is a matter of free speech. In and of itself, Ms. Longo's speech. Even if it is hateful or offensive, is not a crime. The trial starting the same week, Rhode Island lawmakers passed legislation in the House to require African American history in schools. I think it's a, a step in the right direction. Brendan Skip Mark is an assistant professor of political science at URI. He says that too many college students come to his class unaware of African American history. The legislation is progress in his opinion, but says the content of the curriculum is just as important. We've had textbooks that said slaves enjoyed being enslaved and were happy. You know, this is blatantly incorrect. Going into his fourth year of teaching at URI, Mark says he's not surprised that racism is the subject of discussion in a Rhode Island courtroom. It really shows that many of our communities are more divided than we would like. The alleged interaction between Longo and Akpabi's family happened less than three weeks after George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.